Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Ok, so we are going to continue uh, on how to measure current and voltage in parallel connection circuit Ok, so let's say this is your circuit So we have a uh, 5 volt uh, power supply, 5 volt DC power supply We have two resistor, resistor 1 and resistor 2 Which is resistor 1 is 0 0.47 kilo ohm Resistor 2 is 1 kilo ohm so we are going to measure I1, I2 and I3 and also we are going to measure uh, the okay let me choose a different color okay so we're also going to measure V1 and V2 here okay so firstly we are going to measure the current okay so on the current measurement it is quite confusing okay especially when you have uh, several numbers of resistor okay let's say you have two resistor so this is already the gain i1 i2 and i3 okay as you know that um the jury said that in parallel circuit okay parallel connection circuit parallel connection uh, the V1 will be equal to V2 will be equal to V total. Okay. So, but for I, I1 it is equal to I, equal to I2 plus I3. Okay. So, means that the I1 here is total from I3 and I2. Because of the current will flow, from start from this node coming from coming in uh, from I1 okay coming in and go out to I3 and go out to I2 okay so the current will be divided okay all right how to check the um, current okay in parallel circuit okay so let me change the color first all right let's say we choose orange okay so how can we know where to put our uh, measurement equipment okay from here okay if you want to check current you know that current is a flowing of charge so your meter must be in here so we put this as a means ammeter this is for i1 so put the emitter here for I2 and put the emitter another emitter here for I3 okay so you can uh, use the ticker cat to simulate your results okay to measure your current okay so firstly bit your circuit like this okay this is the this is the R1 okay So this is the R1, okay, choose R1, 0 0.447 kilo ohm. So this is the R2, which is 1, 1 kilo ohm, okay. So R1 is for 7 ohm or 0 0.47 kilo ohm, okay. So make sure from here, you know that positive power supply is connected to R1, okay. So this is the positive power supply. So... Make sure you take a special note here. This is the note. We call it as note number one. And here is the note number two. Okay. The current will travel in, go inside the note one, through the R1 and going out back to the negative power supply to the note number two. Okay. So, we need to build the node number one first node. Okay, so let's do it this way. Okay, okay, make this line as a node one. Okay, put it as a red. Okay, the positive is colored by red. Okay, positive terminal is colored by red. And negative terminal is colored by Black. So this is the the node number one. Okay. So uh, 
carefully connect node number one to the resistor one. So take another cable to node number one to R1. Okay, another cable from the node one to R2. Okay, this is the node connect to R2 also. Okay, done for this line. Okay, so next is another leg of R1 will be connected to node 2. So, we need to build up the node for negative supply. So, black. Okay, change it to the black. So, this line is for negative. So, connected to this one and another cable connected to R2. Okay, so this is the, this line will be the node for uh, node 2. This line is for node 1. Okay, alright, if you want to check I1 here, I1 is in between positive power supply with the node 1. Okay, where is it inside? On, on, on the breadboard, where is it? Okay, positive power supply and Node 1. So, this is the this is the line. Okay. Positive power supply and node 1. Alright. Positive power supply and node 1. So, if we want to check the uh, current, measure the current, we need to delete this cable and replace it with the mounting. Okay. Positive, connect to positive. So, another probe is negative probe connect to the node okay so here okay so it's like this okay we change a little bit the color okay so here this place and this one okay this is positive this is negative probe okay positive probe negative probe okay so let us check. Okay, then next is you can check. Okay, you can check. Alright. So the don't forget to change here the amperage. Okay. Okay, you can check. So the current is 15.6 milliampere. Okay, stop simulation. And next is for I2. Okay, so we must put the multimeter, uh the ammeter here. Okay, in between node 1 and leg of R1. So, where is the point? In between node 1 and the R1 leg. Okay, so this is the point. Okay, so delete this one first and replace it with the multimeter. Okay, it goes to here. Okay, we change this color. Positive probe with red, negative probe with black. Same goes to here. Red and this one will be black. Okay, okay, done for I2. Okay, so next is I3. Okay, I3 is in between node 1 and leg R2. R2 leg. Okay, so where is it? So it is here. This cable, okay. So you can delete this one, replace with the uh, probe. This is red, and another one is here, okay. All right, okay. You may rotate this one. Sorry, over rotation. Oh, again. Okay. Turn back. It's a little bit low. Okay. So, yeah. Alright. So, done for the three emitter. Okay. So, you can start your simulation. So, for I1 is should be 15.6. R2 is Sorry, I2 is 10.6 and I3 is 5 mA. Okay.
okay so that is how we measure current okay for voltage measurement it is simple okay just straightforward put your voltmeter one point to one point okay okay so that's all and thank you very much